show up episode one okay Um, as y'all see in my last vlog, <clears throat> I did a review on Xpar um, athletic clothes, work um, workout clothes. Okay, and I was talking about how I am not pleased with uh, myself and how I let myself go. All right. So if y'all look at my face, look at this. Look at this. Stress, hormones, all kinds of stuff, right? So, stepped on the scale today, 272. I'm 28 pounds, 28 from 300. Unacceptable, okay? Let me get this girl moved out of the way. I'll be right back. Okay, I am in my feelings, okay? So, I'm locking myself in the bathroom because I need to get together. And I have my good friend on the phone. Hey, Juju. Who's about to give me a real quick teaching on exfoliating, steaming, and all this other stuff, okay? So for seven days, I will be using the African black soap with lavender oil. And I will be oiling my face with the face serum vitamin C and something amid B3, which hydrates and refresh. I got this from Marshalls for $6.99. And the black soap I also got from Marshalls for $3.99. Yeah, so you said as you steam it, that's when you put it on, friend? Yeah, that's when I be putting it on. All that stuff. Um, whatever. Yeah, I. This thing is hot. So, I am 272 pounds. I'm 28 pounds from 300, which is unacceptable, okay? Um, the, the candle that I lit is from my candle line. Um, you can look in the description box and um, order yours. I now just added three wick, um, three wick candles, and those are now on pre-order, okay? But, um, so yeah, so I was, a li I was in my fields today, okay? I was sitting in church, and I was looking at all the beautiful people, right? Not saying that I'm not beautiful, <laughs> I'm gorgeous, okay? I just may not have the finances right now the way that I want to, to, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, the way, when it's time to show up, I'm going to show up. However, I need to show up for myself more often. Let me get a rag, y'all. Let me go steal a rag for my mama. So, um, looking at all the beautiful people, you know, I just started to feel some type of way. And... For the past couple of days, I've been repenting. I've been asking God to forgive me for not, for the lack of stewardship and, um, for the, yeah, for the lack of stewardship when it comes to maintaining myself right um how i govern myself so 
Yeah, I had to ask God to forgive me because y'all I was not pleased at all. Okay? I'm going to show y'all my hair. In just a second. I need to invest in one of those things to wash my face. I need to invest in one of those. So, yeah, I was feeling some type of way. I had to repent. And I'm like, you know what? Enough is enough. I have to kill the excuses. I have to kill the rebuttals. I have to get out of this place. And I have to do better. Because what I don't want to happen is where I'm not able to be able, you know, to play with my kids and be getting out of breath so quickly, okay? And you're talking about my children, children, and the kids at the school, okay? So all my soft girls that's already in a soft girl era, right? And that's good with maintaining their skin. I need y'all to drop some tips in the description box. So this is day one. So um, I've lost my train of thoughts. It's like once I make the decision to go ahead and start recording, that's when everybody and they made me want to bother me. But to God be all the glory. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I had to call my trainer today. Um, and I had to let her know we need to rekindle our relationship because... Absolutely not. So I'm getting ready to do start off with stretching and like cardio. Um, I've already purged because of the whole process um, that I was going through because uh, I am currently in transition. Um, but I really was feeling very low about myself and I didn't like that. Like I, I really didn't like it. Now, I just bless God that I'm not a hater and I can still, you know, compliment other people and stuff like that. But it really was an insecurity. Um, I was really struggling with my insecurities today. So, um, for the next seven days, I will be trying this, um, the African Black Soap and this uh, Vitamin C Serum. I really need to get restocked from my girl Primpin' Proper um, because her rose oil... Her rose oil really was like hitting for me. So I do need to get restocked on that. But yeah, so I'm tired of it, you guys. And um, I can't stay like this. I got to get up. I got to whatchamacallit. Um, this is me um, combing my hair out after two and a half months. So I combed it out, but I still need to get it washed. Don't judge me, y'all. 
Because if I were to put it back in braids, if I was to braid it back down, I'll throw a wig back on. And we're not going to do that. Okay? However, I just want to be transparent about my process because I don't know where you may be at in this season. And I don't know what you're struggling with, right? When it comes to yourself. You got to know your strengths. You got to know your weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> I just want you to do what you have to do to show up for you, right? Because uh, one thing I teach in the in the co-incu, right, in the incubator is that before anybody or anything reaps the best of you, you have to allow yourself to become, right? And I've been sitting for too long. I've been marinating for too long, and I need to apply. Okay, so like I said, I have already started on some things, but some things I'm getting ready to buckle down on. Um, and I'm creating healthier habits um, when it comes to stress, anxiety, depression, and, you know, all these things. I'm creating a healthier habit. And then I had to release the spirit of gratitude or bask in the spirit of gratitude and begin to thank God for what I do have. Right. Um, because the enemy can't play with you like that because you're looking at oh where you're not where you where you wanted to be you're not you may not be at the place that you desire to be and the enemy can use that against you right or use yourself against you you know where you begin to beat yourself up we're not doing that in this season we are not doing that in this season okay so with that being said y'all this is show up part one all right, this is me being completely transparent with y'all. My stomach is in my lap, okay? <laughs> my stomach is in my lap. Um, I'm out of breath quickly. My asthma is triggered because of my weight, because of my weight, all right? Now, if I can get, when I, when I get back down to 210, 220, old baby, y'all ain't gonna be able to hold you, girl, you feel me? Y'all ain't gonna, who, who, okay? Y'all gonna learn real quickly, okay? Y'all gonna learn real quickly. So, I'm done steaming my face. I do feel different. I do feel a slight, like, like my face can breathe, okay? And this serenity candle is hitting. So, it's creating a vibe for me. So, what I'm getting ready to do is actually take a shower and exfoliate and scrub my body. Y'all can't go on the shower with me. So, <laughs> um, so I'm getting ready to do that um, because there are some dark spots that I want to, um, you know, lighten up. Um, my goal is to not only lose some weight, but to more so tone because I've always been um athletic um so i know that i'm gonna do probably about a month or two months of straight stretching and cardio um so that i can build my momentum my stamina and my endurance back up um and then i will be i'm also reconnecting with my trainer um shout out to camo fit you already know um because baby we finna slim down okay because another thing is where i don't want you know, God released my husband early and huh, I'm going to be ready. OK, because at the end of the day, downtime is prep time. Now, y'all haven't been seeing me, but um, lately as well, I am. Um, well, I was behind on videos because my original camera broke. Y'all, my G7X broke. I'm actually going to take it to this guy that was recommended to see if he can fix it. If not. Lord, we're going to have to get another camera and y'all going to have to woo, baby, because that camera is expensive. OK, that camera is expensive. So that's why I have been behind on the videos. But I want you guys to go through this journey with me. I um, want you definitely to comment below. Like, what is something that you feel like you need to work on in this season? Like, what is something that you need to apply that you not you didn't apply? What discipline do you need to get in the, the habit of doing? Right? Because you got to know what's keeping you stagnant, what's holding you back, so that you can go ahead and move forward. Because um, all the while you don't address what you need to address, you're just going to stay in a stuck place. So this is me addressing what's going on with me. And this is me being transparent to encourage you, okay? Um, 
so that you know you know that you're not alone and i know that i'm not alone especially when y'all comment okay um once again drop some tips on some face routines or some products that i can use i do not have sensitive skin but i do have um dry skin when it comes to my face is a little dry but it's it's like a in between it's not dry but it's not oily okay um so drop some you know some tips that i can you know i can use or um some products that i can use as well uh don't forget to let me know what is it that you are needing to work on in this season so that i um can hold you accountable right and be and stand in agreement with you because we are going up together i just feel like i was getting ready to start preaching and yeah mm -mm, we're not gonna do that um spring break is coming up for my daughter so i'm planning some activities um for her so we're gonna do something because i'm very intentional about you know building um that family bond and keeping that family bond right because the way society is set up it tries to pull families away and uh-uh this is a legacy we're building a legacy we're building an empire and we are going to be a strong family so um with spring break we're going to do some stuff and um in the process of teaching her how to flow in the prophetic at a young age because i feel like i would have been more effective if my mom knew how to handle it um or how, how to handle the prophetic anointing on my life um, she is just now learning and just now understanding how it works, how it operates. But um, I want to be able to build my daughter up. So listen, those of you that have children, make sure one of your prayer points is that you ask God to equip you on how to govern and how to deal with your child. Because with the assignment on their life, with the anointing on their life, with the oil that is on their life, there is a specific way that you have to raise that child. Like, for example, I realized my daughter does not eat everything, right? So now I'm really asking Holy Ghost and I'm, I'm doing little different things to see what is her eating habits. Like, she really, my daughter barely eats eats meat. I'm not vegan. <laughs> I'm far from vegan. Okay. Her father is far from vegan, but, um, but he do eat more fish. Um, and you know, he don't do seafood, but he do eat fish. He do eat, um, chicken and beef and all of that. I'm a steak girl. Um, <clears throat> my husband, <laughs> my current husband, you know, he eat meat. So, um, but she barely eat meat barely like she'll do chicken wings here and there or you know but she's like oh i want shrimp i want shrimp like this bougie kid but as god asked the holy spirit to show you um how to oh my gosh that serenity just kind of is hitting right now y'all it's hitting it's hitting um ask the holy spirit to order your steps on how to govern your child okay and also um break those generational um curses break those generational generational upbringings right because um once again our parents only did what they saw and what they were taught but we have the opportunity to change that okay we have the opportunity to change that so let's you know create healthier environments for our children all right and for our spouses okay um create ladies 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 create an atmosphere of peace create an atmosphere where where your husband could 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 feel emotionally and mentally he feels safe spiritually he feels safe right um he he's able to be vulnerable without a fear of being stripped from his masculinity create that atmosphere of love create that atmosphere of peace because even the word of god says I feel like it's going to help somebody because I don't even know why I'm going here, right? But even the word of God says, you know what I'm saying? A soft tongue turned away wrath, right? Let's not, let's work on um, not responding in certain ways. And that let's, let's work on not responding in a way that is degrading or a way that is showing a lack of reverence, okay? Yeah, sometimes we got to tell them about themselves, but we can still do it in love. We can still do it in love. So watch out because I am coming out with the evil 
ebook. The ebook is going to drop soon. I am in the process of finishing that. Um, so with that being said, because we have to be very strategic and very intentional on how we upbring our family. Okay. Because we already know, um, they're trying to eliminate us folks. Okay. And they're trying to keep us from, um, building families, healthy families. Okay. Healthy families. So, but anyways, I'm um, getting ready to take a shower, about to scrub. I'm about to pray, about to worship, and just pour it all out onto God and asking the Holy Ghost to really help me when it comes to my cardio and being intentional about myself. And, you know, as I go back on this journey of taking care of myself, I'm really asking the Holy Ghost to help me because, baby, it's going to be a journey. Y'all going to see me cry. Y'all going to see me frustrated because I'm going to be as transparent as possible in this season, um, in the midst of this transition. So I love y'all. Don't forget, hit if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If this has encouraged you in any way, I want you to go ahead and thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below what is something you need to work on in this season. All right. But I love y'all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember, you have victory on every side.